Yo, 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 it's your boy Trey from Boas Abound, and I'm back with another episode of Blogging About Boas. Um, a lot of fun recently, man. I just got back from vacation with my family. Uh, we spent the Thanksgiving holiday in um, the Dominican Republic in Punta Cana, to be exact. Um, we had a blast. We went zip lining, horseback riding, dune buggy driving, snorkeling, uh... I don't know, a whole bunch of other stuff. The resort was amazing. Really, really nice resort. Um, we actually typically go on vacation over the Christmas holiday. You know, we exchange gifts and whatnot, but for us, the you know, now that my kids are a little bit older, the uh the focus shift shifts shifted um a little bit more to the experience side, not all the the gifts and the money. We still give them, you know, a few gifts and, and money here and there, but not the lavish Christmases that we had in the past. So um, for the past probably, i say five, six years, something like that, um, we've been traveling internationally um, around the, the Christmas holiday. But a great all-inclusive deal popped up around the Thanksgiving holiday. So we decided to go um, then instead. Um... This video is going to be a random compilation of things, just like usual. Um, actually, before I left, I went to the All Ohio Reptile Show. Hadn't been in a long time. Had to pick up a few feeders. So, um, took a little bit of video while I was there. Some interesting creatures were there that I had never seen in person before. So, that was pretty cool. Um, and then otherwise, it'll be, like I said, breeding, um... Some of my favorites and just anything that catches my eye in, in, in my bowl room while I'm recording. So it's going to be over the course of probably a week or two. But you guys would never know that because when I edit and put everything together, it's just continuous. So uh, without further ado, go ahead and check out these cool boys. So I wanted to give you all an update on uh, this boa call him the stranger thing um i still don't know exactly what he is but i think it's uh at this point probably an androgenesis uh super motley anary super motley does head for vpi well anary super ghost motley does head for vpi uh, just a really, really strange looking male. Uh, absolutely love this thing. Looks like a sterling. The father was a um, Anary Motley that's het for VPI. He also might be jungle. And then the mom was a visual uh, VPI Sunglow, het for Anary. But she might be jungle. One of, one of the other is jungle because I got some jungles in this uh, litter. But this guy is just a weird, freakish looking snake. He's doing fantastic. Really, really good. This phone is not directly or correctly displaying his color. He is a really light, light gray. And he has different color phases. Um, but looks more brownish in this video. But whatever. But today was feeding day. Just wanted to give you all a, a update of this guy. Um, one of my favorites that I produced this year. Boom. Only one way to know what he is for sure. And hopefully one day I'll breed him. And uh, we know exactly what we're working with. But for now, just admire him. And go from there. So this pair has been pretty active lately. Um, I didn't know if this male was gonna be old enough. He's a 21. Um, Scoria head call, probable IMG. He's in shed right now, so he's a little bit darker than normal. And this is just a just a fantastic um, female. She is a uh, Sunglo jungle call line. But um, she has purples and oranges and green, greens, purples and oranges and reds, obviously yellow. Um, one of my holdbacks from 2019. Um, just a phenomenal female. 
normally don't see this type of color as far as purple goes um when call is involved but um she was just so nice had to have her had to hold her back um i'm assuming there's some type of pastel line with her as well um she wasn't so well the parents weren't sold to me as any type of pastel line like lipstick or anything like that but you know you just never know So I'm here at the All Ohio Reptile Show, and I'm here with Rachel Sand from Sand Comfort, Sand Up Serpent. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this little guy? This is Rocco. He's a red kangaroo. He's oh, they get big, old. don't they? They get about eight foot tall. <laughs> and obviously, they're from Australia. Yep. Um, the, the males get a little more jacked. They get really muscular as they get older. Yeah, I see those. They, they can, look like they've been in the gym like me. They can put their full weight on their tail. <laughs> and spring back and kick, and they're super strong. So tell me a fun fact about a red kangaroo. What's something you think most people wouldn't know about a red kangaroo? They mate like gorillas. Uh, only one male gets the females. Oh, so it's like a lion pride. Yep. What, are they, what is the group of kangaroos called? Do you know? I don't know that one. I'm going to look that one up. Now you got, yeah. me, now you got me curious. Yeah, we'll have to find out. Awesome. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> look at Sonic. So that's an interesting name for a crab. These things are freaking huge too. Just think about one of those pincers getting one of your fingers. You probably can take that thing off. Sheesh. A satanic land crab. And they are from St. Croix. Well, native to St. Croix. Always amazes me how tiny turtles are when they're born. These things are tiny. This is an alligator snapper turtle. They get gigantic. Look how small it is. Look at my hand. Crazy. Tiny, itty bitty little things. Yeah, you in it? I thought you took a picture of your donut. No, 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 I'm about to talk about this donut. <laughs> so I'm here, the big homie Pat, country boy constrictors. Look what I got. What that is bacon. Small mice. Small mice. That is some type of cream filling. He asked me, he asked me, was I on my uh, my cheat day today? <laughs> Did you know I'm in the gym consistently now? I told him I eat whatever the hell I want to eat. So I have not purchased you know, any. You're leaving here and going straight to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so I have not purchased any snakes. I, I really just came up here to mess with them and get some racks. It'll be six days in the gym. It'll be six Stay days to work this. This is about ten thousand calories right here. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to just two days right here. I'm gonna work this off two days. And I'm about to leave the country and go on vacation. It's all bad. I'm gonna try my best to record this without um, disturbing them too much. Cause I'm not gonna open the enclosure. Man, I'm trying to get this thing to focus. Cause it's like a perfect actual copulation. There it is. See that little pink there? That is actual copulation between this male and this female. And this was one of the pairs I was actually kind of curious about. Cause I always notice him laying on and around her. But um, now I know he's been doing a job. So that makes me happy. Not gonna disturb them anymore. Gonna let them get back to the dude. So you see there are two males in with this female just because this year I really, really wanted to get the job done with her. Um, This male here is a KRP albino arabesque. Absolutely fantastic. He looks like a red dragon. The female is an IMG hypo. It's a head for call. And the male that's actively breeding her is a uh, 
Sunglo Jungle Arabesque. So still a, a great combo. Actually, he has more jeans. Um, but I didn't really want to double up on the hypo, which is why I chose this male originally. And he started to have some interest. He's just young. Didn't really get the job done. But the day I put this guy in, he got to work. And again, as usual, I apologize for the dirty plexiglass, but I typically do not disturb them unless I absolutely have to during breeding season, especially when I see active courting in a potential lock like that. So it's gonna be some dirty milky colored uh, plexiglass in some of these videos, I apologize. All right, guys, hopefully you liked that video. Um, I'm starting my third round of pair ups now. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head how many pairs I actually have together this season. Um, I got to like actually look at my paperwork, look at my records and, and see what I paired up and how many um, I actually have going and what I'm attempting to actually produce this year. I did pair up a lot more this year than I did last year. Um, and I, and I, every year I kind of like change or adjust my breeding um regimen um last year i paired everything up all together and uh it could have been a number of different factors but it wasn't one of my best years i i, I still got well over 100 babies but i'm i'm normally probably in a range of 300 plus um or close to it every season so i still had a decent season but for me it was on the lower side as far as production goes um, this year I decided to do like stagger, a staggered effect or staggering when I'm pairing them up. Maybe pair up five pairs here, five pairs there, 10 pairs there, so on and so forth. Um, also, it helps because babies aren't dropping all at the exact same time. So that's pretty cool. It gives me a little bit of breathing room as my collection grows um, to space out feeding and cleaning and watering and watering changing waters etc etc um as usual check out the link in the description and check out all the cool bowls i have for sale um and that i have available many times i don't have certain things for sale if you're looking for something specifically and i don't have it listed if the price is right i might let it go so shoot your shot you just never know words i can say is no um hope you guys had a great holiday the uh, next holiday is coming up very soon, so I wanted to get this video up before things just got hectic around here for me with traveling again. But, uh, yeah, as usual, uh, I just had a brain fart, a brain freeze. What do I say at the end of these things? <laughs> um, and like always, guys, it's Boas over everything. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit your boy up on Instagram, Facebook, so on and so forth. Uh, until next time, peace.